What you are hearing is the piece Navarra for Two Violins, composed by Spanish violinist Pablo de Sarasate and performed here by Sayaka Shoji of Japan and Arabella Steinbacher of Germany. What you are also hearing is the sound produced by two of the most valuable violins ever made, known to the world as Stradivarius, after the man who made them. Only a few hundred exist, and they now sell for up to three and a half million dollars apiece. So we have, uh, together with my violin, we have 65 million dollars worth of violins here on stage today. Maestro Lauren Meisel is music director of the New York Philharmonic, and the stage he is speaking of is his own stage, located in a private theater on his rural estate outside Washington, D.C. Lauren Meisel's passion for music began at a very early age. He was a prodigy, taking his first conducting lesson when he was only seven years old and making his conducting debut just one year later. This conductor, violinist, and composer has graced the stages of the Cleveland Orchestra, the Pittsburgh Symphony, and now the New York Philharmonic. His musical accomplishments are many. But what seems clear about Maisel is that this once child prodigy has a special place in his heart for promising young talent. Only a maestro of his international stature could put together such a rare performance in his backyard. In October, Maestro Maisel staged a benefit concert featuring 12 Stradivarius violins played by 12 master violinists. Among them, the Tokyo String Quartet playing this piece by composer Niccolo Paganini. Maestro Maisel says what makes a Stradivarius so prized is the strength and purity of its tone, and he arranged to present the violins one by one so the audience could experience the star quality of each instrument. Uh, we're presenting them in chronological order with the players who will play the instruments. They will come out on stage one at a time, play the instrument for a moment, allow the instrument to make its statement, and then uh, uh, the uh, members of our uh, audience will um, actually walk past, on stage, will walk past each one of the violins and will not be allowed to touch them, but will be allowed to look at them closely, front and back. <laughs> The violins, which are on loan from the Nippon Foundation in Japan, will return there to be used by other violin masters. And the proceeds from this very special concert will go to support a youth scholarship program run by the Maisel family's Chateauville Foundation.